The death of veteran artist David Gulwane has left many on the local and global art scene shocked. Most significant is the 81-year-old's passing at the weekend came as he was having a good year, one that saw one of his paintings being sold for about 150,000 rands at a contemporary art auction earlier this year. That's considered a massive price. Here to understand better the work of David Godwane, his life and the value of his art, I'm joined by Imre Lamprecht. She's a senior art specialist with the Old Johannesburg Warehouse Auctioneers. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Mm -hmm. David Godwane wasn't just an artist. He was more than that. He created spaces particularly for black artists in apartheid and afterwards. Yes, David Kulawani was an artist firstly, obviously, but he was also a writer. He was a curator. He was a mentor and a teacher for many, many, many artists, uh, many young people and established artists, like you said, in apartheid era and afterwards. Um, and those vocations were mainly for white people, if I can be that blunt. And he sort of created a path for everybody to be entered into um, any of those. Mm. He, um, he lived and worked mainly in Johannesburg and that was his, his, what he portrayed mainly in his work. And he was, um, he established the bag factory in Johannesburg. He established the first black African art gallery as well. Um, he was a director on, on those boards for a very long time. Um, he did so much for this industry. Mm -hmm. when, when he was drawing and the way he depicted particularly black people was also um, quite, there was a, an intention behind it. He said he didn't want black art to be con confined to so-called street art or airport art. That's exactly it. He didn't want to be known as just another township artist. He, like I mentioned earlier, used Johannesburg as his backing theme. He wanted to bring the social, political, socio economics and, and the, the people alive in his works. He, w he used um, the townships as backdrops, obviously, but it included a lot of people, um, houses, dogs, birds, animals, all sorts of different things. And in his works, there's a lot of light, but also a lot of darkness, uh, which he portrayed, which, you know, is an everyday life. And he, he wanted to show people what it was like. There was, a, there was this a recurring theme of dogs, and I'm glad you brought that up um, in his art. What, was there anything particular that was meant to be um, shown by his depiction of dogs in, in so many of his different artworks? I don't know if there was a specific connotation to dogs. I think he just liked showing them mm. and I think you know it is an everyday everybody's got a dog everybody's got a friend mm. in a dog in the townships mm. um, they're loyal maybe it's a loyalty thing that he showed through okay. them so we know that um, he was lauded when he was alive and we know that even when he was alive his artwork was selling for in the higher prices when an artist like this passes his way and it may be a little bit disrespectful to speak about the value but it is almost a fact of life is his art um, and the value of it going to increase now that he's passed away? That's a very interesting question to ask. A lot of people believe that. Um, and I can see why, obviously, now that he's no longer there, he won't be creating any more work. Um, but it doesn't mean necessarily that it shoots up in value specifically. Um, it, it is all about how much work was actually produced during his lifetime. Now, David Kulawani is an artist that has been represented through galleries and he has a very well established auction market as well. And for that reason, I think, you know, his prices have been climbing in value over the last few years. Um, the fact that he has also been included in international pavilions like the Venice Biennale. And earlier this year, they opened a retrospective exhibition um, on his lifetime of works. So it's 40 years worth of work. And I'm very glad that he got to see that as well, because mm. I think it's such an honor. Um, things like that add a lot of value to an artist's work. And for that reason, your people are paying in the upper echelons of sort of 100, 120, 150,000 plus for his works, specifically the Joburg scenes. So we've spoken a lot about um, his work and his creations, but when people speak about him and his personality, I know he's being remembered this afternoon, it's always of a man who was very kind, a teacher. Um, is that the kind of personality that he had? He was a very, very, very kind soul. Um, I've been in the art industry for, for, for many years now and talking to people this week you know, about his passing, that is, that is the message that I got from everybody, that he will be missed as mentor, as teacher. Um, he was always at 
all the art exhibitions, all the big openings. Um, he was lovely to talk to. I think everybody will have uh, a big gaping hole where David Kolawani was. And it's not just his personality and, and, and the kindness that lives on, it's also some of the institutions that he created um, to allow artists to be able to work freely. Very much so. Um, I think the, the best known one is the Bag Factory, which is in town, uh, where he you know, established um, a, a porthole as such for a lot of artists to create and to get to know different print media and work media and to, to work with other artists um, and to get known and get their works into the industry. Um, and like I said, he was a director of that establishment for, for many, many years. Um, and, and that wasn't the only one. Um, he, he did so many different things um, for the art industry. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Imre Lamprecht, a senior art specialist with the old Johannesburg Warehouse Auctioneers, sharing her thoughts on the rise in reputation of David Golwane, his work and his personality as well. A memorial event is taking place at Johannesburg's Goodman Gallery from 3 p.m. this afternoon. His funeral service is this coming Saturday morning from 8 a.m. at the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God in downtown Johannesburg.